Hey guys, Jota here. Now, in this video, I'm going to be talking about ju just the, um, <clears throat> pretty much I'm going to be t covering two things. The first thing is the, um, the first of the, for the day, there is actually, instead of the event like was last year, instead the starter pack for Normandy and Moscow alongside the, um, every premium squad in Normandy, minus I believe the Calliope, are on sale, the half price off. Some of these, mm, well, all of these I wouldn't recommend buying because you get better in the tech trees. For example, you know, just for example here, I wouldn't buy the Firefly because I've got a 76 here. I wouldn't buy a Panzer IV because I've got a Panzer IV in the tech tree because you can see here there's like stuff like the Panzer IV, J here, the Stug. G obviously and stuff like that. Now the main thing we'll be talking about is the new rocket tanks and basically how they work. So the first one is the Calliope, as you can see here. This is the one I think everyone was is nervous about, and I think rightfully so. Um I have been testing out the fire range and what I was expecting was basically kind of like a company POS2 where they literally you fire it off and it just goes and it just fires a volley. Here, it kind of is similar. It will fire off a volley, yeah. But the the main thing is that it it fires the gun as well, so it's linked to the fire button. So you fire a can, you fire the round off, and you, if you hold it, it fires off constant M8 rockets. Now the rockets, by the looks of things, don't have much pen, but if they hit, they will do a lot of damage. If they do pen, they will destroy the tank, and. I think it's going to be still annoying to deal with, but it's not like what I was expecting with the Calliope. The same thing can be said with the um, the Verfa. The Verfa from the looks of things, again, if it pens, it will knock out all of the tank. It will knock out the entire tank. It doesn't matter what it hits, but if it pens, that's only if it pens. Other than that, it's... The one thing I'm not look at liking is the fact that you can re rearm and restock the rockets. I think that should be disallowed. You shouldn't be allowed to rearm the rockets because, well, just, I, I, I don't think I need to be a genius to understand why. The only good thing about this is it's actually a half track, so you're not going to be using, so this thing is not going to be as, you know, you touch this thing with anything and it's dead. Which is something the Calliope doesn't have. You've also, of course, got the baby Katusha in um, <clears throat> in Moscow, which also, you know, has the um, it, all it has is the rockets, but that's it. Like it doesn't have a t, you know, it doesn't have the um, the old um, what are they called. It doesn't have any machine guns or anything. It's it's kind of like the vodka thrower in um, Stalingrad, but I'd say probably a bit better because this thing can probably take out infantry and vehicles, where the vodka thrower can only take out infantry. But it means that really anything can take it out. Like I reckon you can fire an AT rifle, hit one of these, hit one of these, and then bang, the whole tank goes up with just even with just an AT rifle. So yeah. Anyways, that's really all I'm going to have to say. I'm not looking forward to these, so, yeah, I don't... I honestly haven't played anything in Normandy or Moscow since the update, so... Because I've just... I've not been playing Enlisted much. But, yeah, still not going to be using the um, those tanks, so, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.